The Denis of a Cave in the Altai Mountains of Siberia is truly an amazing sight when it comes to paleontology. Obviously known for the discovery of the Denisova hominin species, it was inhabited by Neanderthals and modern humans as well, being the only place with clear evidence of all three human forms living there at one time or another. It is estimated that the cave's earliest occupation took place approximately 280,000 years ago, and lots of archaeological materials have been found over the course of time, providing very important information regarding the Paleolithic Age in Northern Asia. One of the findings, though, the so-called Denisovan bracelet, attributed to this hominin species, stands out from the rest and completely baffled academia when it was discovered in 2008. Its age, at least, 40,000 years old. Let's discuss the details of this out-of-place artifact. Welcome to Ancient Puzzles. Hello, back one more week with another interesting topic. I have to say that this bracelet does not have the popularity it deserves, and it's no ordinary finding. In fact, it's probably one of the most important discoveries ever made, admitted by academia to be extremely old and unusual. In the Denisova cave there are more than 20 layers of excavated artifacts, and the fragments of this bracelet were recovered from the upper portion of the Pleistocene deposits, corresponding to layer 11. Prehistory professor Abul Hassan Bakri from Cairo University published an article in 2017 with more details about the cave and the exact spot where the object was found. The article is publicly available and you have the reference in the video description. Being that said, let's talk about the characteristics of the bracelet. It's made of dark green chrolitolite, with hardness between 2 and 2.5 and according to the Mohs scale, which isn't very hard certainly. It's 27mm wide and 9mm thick, and the estimated diameter, if not broken, seems to be about 70mm. Also, the bracelet has a beaconic drilled opening approximately 8mm in diameter, close to one of the fractured ends. Even not being very hard stone, the drill hole alone already shows that the technology involved was not what we would expect to find in a Paleolithic context, but there is more. It is pretty obvious to the naked eye that the bracelet was polished with care, and detailed analysis have shown that the item was manufactured using various stone working methods, which include rubbing with the help of abrasives and polishing with skin and hide. It is believed a woman or child wore the bracelet on very special occasions, being indicative of a spiritual culture. So, to summarize, something with these characteristics would make more sense to belong to the prepotery Neolithic, that is, at least 30,000 years later, which definitely raises many questions. It was speculated that the bracelet could have been the work of modern humans, rather than Denisovans, idea that cannot be proven due to the lack of modern human fossils and DNA corresponding to that time. So it's the Denisovans the ones we have to credit, but still assuming modern humans made it would be equally striking considering it's 40,000 years old, or more, since other sources claim it could be 65 or 70,000 years old. Anyways, it is obvious that at least 40,000 years ago, someone was advanced enough to create this bracelet, and surely a lot more objects showing signs of significant progress were produced, the vast majority of which, unfortunately, will never be found. I personally wonder if people creating jewelry like that were really living in a cave. There's no question that it was inhabited over long periods of time, but maybe for the Denisovans who made the bracelet, the cave was just a ritual place. What if, for example, someone more advanced gave it to a Denisovans living there as a present? And I'm not saying someone more advanced couldn't be a Denisovan, we have hunter-gatherers today in contrast to our global civilization indeed. And did the development stop there, or it continued? Did the Denisovans teach modern humans and Neanderthals? Well, no doubt it would be fantastic if someday all these questions, and many others, have an answer. If something this bracelet has shown us is that there's wide range of possibilities and could very well be that the knowledge of its creators was preserved and improved by later generations. Who knows if these were the origins of a lost advanced civilization. That's all, thank you all so much for watching, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, post a comment and consider subscribing if you haven't yet. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!